Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a, a basic fly, but there's, it's a French partridge mayfly. I'll show you. This is a pet French partridge mayfly. Uh, just a colour combination. Uh, you can obviously change it, the colours, uh, the natural. This is a dyed olive. Now, to take a, the stage further, use the same pattern, but then get it to basically float slightly better, uh, more as a, a dry, tight, wet. Uh, what well, can be fish for either is to add a bit of CDC in the wing. Now you can use like a mallard flank and you'll get like a seal, seal wing type mayfly or a rollover. And this does exactly the same, this will roll over. Just as a, a dun would do when it's just hatched and the wind catches it and it rolls over and it, it, it helps do that by tying the wing and uh, the way I'm going to tie it. Now, it's a simple fly to tie. Hook choice is up to yourself. This is a medium wire hook, this is the all purpose medium uh, from full mill size 10. Now I'm using a, a basically a rusty brown, see this one here, this is a, it's quite a good colour, it works well with this fly. Uh, you can use just the olive or yellow uh, or even black if you want, but to keep the colour right it's time to do that. And I've got a dirty piece of wax there as you can see, that's for waxing my thread. Slightly darkens it a wee bit. It's just a clear piece of wax and after using it a few times it starts to pick up the colour of the threads and stuff and it adds to the thread colour too. So what we can do here is take the thread down right about a third of the way and then we come back up and we stop it. I would probably stop it right, say about maybe 2 mil from the eye. Now for the CDC wing I'm using, this is a dyed olive, it's white CDC feathers been dyed olive and I've got two. Now that you can see there's a, a curve, a natural curve. Now you want the curve to come up and away from the, the hook, facing over the eye. You're looking for a length round about, when a mayfly, in this case, this is a size 10 hook, round about the same size as the hook forward. So you tie that forward like that. Two or three turns to secure. You can always check to see your wing length, which is fine. Now I come over the top, Cut an angle cut into it so that'll the angle cut will help give you a taper onto the body. Now at this point I'm going to tie in the hackle with the body hackle. Now you can leave the body hackle out, it's up to yourself. But in this fly I'm going to use the body hackle. So what I've done here is I've got the same dyed olive. Well basically I'll show you the cape. This is you can see that's kind of golden olive colour, uh, a yellow. What you do is you get this is a light done saddle that I have, or that I had anyway, and I dyed it yellow, and uh, I have gold and yellow, and you get this lovely colour, it's, it's great for mayflies, it's one of the colours I like. Now when you tie this hackle forward, and this is just to save a wee bit of bulk, so what I'm going to do is you see, i am tied it forward, the inside of the feather, so facing towards the back, make sure you watch your thread, now you are tying onto a base of thread, so it's not going to roll on you. And then we work our way down to this point here. I'm going to get some tail fibres. Now these are just, this is a, a pheasant, ring neck pheasant, cock feather, a tail feather, which have dyed the same yellow, golden yellow. So you've got that brown yellow mix. To get tail fibres, you're looking around about, it's always worth having an extra one, around about five to six. You could go less, but I always put the extra one because you can always remove them. Tail length round about just slightly longer than the hook shank or the hook length. Sorry, you can you catch that on the top. Just check the length. The mayflies in the island that come off an island are really they're large, not small. So tying that in, you can remove the waste. This all ha helps towards the taper. The rib of the fly could be a fine wire or whatever, but I'm using a, a small oval gold tinsel for this. So I'm just going to catch it on. I'm just going to quickly take the thread up and back down, making sure it's secure. Just quick up and back down. Now for the fluorescent, the, the, for the butt, I'm using, this is a flame coloured seals feather that I've dyed. It's hot orange with some red in it. So your hot orange dye and you add a tiny bit of red and it just lifts it, it gives it a, what we call flame. It's just an aiming point at the back of the fly. Just lightly dub it onto your thread, slide it up, 
and then we form like a small tag with it. Just tighten when you need to, and you're happy with the mount on there. You can tighten up a wee bit by running the thread through it. So that fiery brown colour thread and the red works well. For the body, I'm using a golden olive seals for. Now I'm just going to dub this on just lightly. There's a few ways to get a golden olive. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, basically you'll see like a, a sunburst of yellow and an olive mix. So I've added a golden or a, a brighter yellow or a yellow mixing with the olive to lift it. It changes the colour. Having a double mixed or a blended dubbing to me is it just, it's like a metallic colour more than a, a matte colour. Though sometimes you want a, a, a mullet, a, a matte type colour, but you can lift your dubbins by doing that. Now I'm coming up here, right to the hackle, and as you see, I'm ready to wind the hackle straight away. I've taken away the bulk, it makes it easier just to start, do a turn at the top, and then work your way down. Now, I'm going to stop just before the red, and then bring your oval tinsel round, and then catch that wee half turn up onto it, and then work your way up. Now I can keep this, the oval tinsel tight. Now we get to this point here, we just add a turn just before the wing. Lift the wing, just making a, a base of pulling back the, the CDC feather, just ready to catch in the rib. Just lift it up out of the way, and then three or four turns in or more, just to get it caught and not going to pull back. You can trim away the excess. Then we're going to tidy the head area up back up to the wing, now don't tie on to the wing, you want it, you need this purchase with the, the stem. Then we tie a French partridge, let's see this one. This is dyed actually a, a brown olive, uh, you can use a lighter colour if you want. But the brown olive is a good colour and it's a Veneers brown olive I use. So what I'm going to do is just pull back, the, obviously clear away the fluff at the bottom, tie this in just at the tip. Square up the tip so you can tie it in. Maybe I'll wax on my thread, just gives you that extra grip. Now I'm going to use my hackle pliers. Let's catch it there, and then we're going to wind just as we would do a French partridge wet fly. Now, don't go crazy, just enough to get the colour you want, and then up and out, a 90 degree bend into the, the stem of the feather and just encourage the thread turns to go into the stem and not catch in any of the, the excess fibre which is there and you can actually, I usually just sometimes just peel this away but I wouldn't recommend you doing this unless it's really well tied in because what I want to do here is just fold back the stem just for security more than anything. So if you fold it back and then bring the thread up onto it, keeping the thread tight you can then break that off and then you can whip finish. There you go. Trim away this thread. Just see how your battery is sitting, tails, everyone's fine. Now this is a, a dry fly, wet fly, it's a, it's a combination of the both. It's good colours, it works. Now you, this here, when the water it will, so basically, sit nice, so sit flat, you've got a nice shape. If you want, then if you're in the Irish locks, you're fishing with the wind coming off your back, you're pulling through the wave, you can get a nice bit of disturbance with this fly. It's a good, it's a good style, it's a good colour combination as well, you, just, you can change it to suit yourself. And then you'll have to do is to finish off with a coat of varnish all the way around. It's a nice mayfly pattern. It's basically called a rollover or a you could call it a sail wing, but because I've used the C C D C the the idea the reason for calling it the rollover, it actually when the wind catches it, it will roll over and that's why you need this quite stiffness. It'll catch it from behind and it'll flip it up, give it more a natural look when it's and blown across the waves and that's what the fish look for as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>